Hi loves, welcome back. Coach Kara here. So I'm just, I just want to do a quick video about this video that has been trending for the, the past day or so. Yeah, so I, I really wanted to address this um, with our dating crisis that we have going on and, and why are we not being fulfilled when we are dating? So let me just get right into it. So if you are not aware of the trending video um, out about the young lady who went out on a date, now she is literally recording this on TikTok, okay? So she goes out on a date with a guy, right? Originally, he had planned to take her to a dinner, you know, a restaurant with reservations. However, because it took her so long to get dressed and prepared for the date, by the time they were arrived, of course, you know, with most restaurants, um, it probably was a high-end five-star restaurant. If you miss your reservation, you miss your reservation, okay? There's no, yeah, there's very little negotiation with that. Because of that, he decided to go with the plan B or another alternative, which was the Cheesecake Factory. So when they arrive and they're sitting in the parking lot, and he, you know, he's ready to get out. She, I guess she begins to complain about why are they there? I'll, I'll put some video and let, let her go into further detail. But yeah, let me just go ahead and let you guys watch the video and You'll see exactly what I'm about to to explain to you. Woo. Let me just get the door for you. Okay. He got me at the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. I ain't getting out this car. Mm -mm. Yes. Uh, would you want me to? Open the door for you. Look at, look at. Are you? You're recording me? Yeah. Yeah. This is the Cheesecake Factory. This is the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. What's the problem with that? This is a chain restaurant. Who takes someone that looks like this to a chain restaurant? You want to talk about it? I'm, I'm fine with talking about uh -huh. it, even in front of them. Oh yeah, I want to talk about it. Yeah, come on, get up, on in the car. Yeah, we gonna talk about it. Okay, this is why I'm talking about the females, the ladies. This is why you are having difficulty being courted, as they say. I, I rarely use that terminology, but being courted being asked out on a date, being treated, you know, like a lady, having someone to open the door for you, willingly asking you, do you want me to open the door for you? Because he's a gentleman. And then, you know, denying and refusing that sort of gesture. This is why Men are not willing to waste their time, nor their efforts and their money on these types of female. And the sad thing about it is, she's not the only one. There are a plethora of females out there that are just like her. And this explains exactly why many of you are sitting alone home on a Friday or Saturday night because of this type of behavior. This type of attitude. Okay, granted, I know most of us feel like princesses and queens. Sure, I, I have a, a queen mentality. Okay, but if a guy takes me out, he will never know that. He will never experience that. Why? Because I have a good attitude. I'm kind. I'm grateful. I'm appreciative. I've been to the Cheesecake Factory once and it was nice. Okay, it was really nice. The food was great. The customer service was amazing. Um, I think I was with family, but even still, it was a good time, okay? I would never give that 
that type of attitude, that, that bitchiness is what I would consider it as. Yeah. Just ungrateful. When you yourself were the very cause of you having to come to this type of restaurant, which in my opinion would be quite deserving. Yeah. If you consider it low class or low grade or low level type eatery, well then that's where you do. That's exactly what you deserve or, or what? Absolutely nothing. Absolutamente nada. She deserves nothing. And then to sit there and not take ownership as to why they were at the alternative restaurant. You were the one who made, who caused all of this to happen. And see, men like him should be very careful and more selective in their choosing. Like he couldn't, maybe they only had one interaction to where he really couldn't just get, you know, a full assessment of what she was like, her personality, or maybe she was coming off really sweet while they were messaging or on the phone or something. You really couldn't just tell that there was that, that was behind all of that. Oh, and the way I look, the way you look wet, you look like any other, you look like any other regular person. Okay, what do you mean? And even if you did look like a dying piece, your attitude stinks. It was ugly. It was like, seriously. And, and if I were him, instead of getting out and trying to open the door for you like a gentleman, I and once he seen that you were on live, he should have right then called an Uber for you <laughs> and dismissed your ass, seriously. This is why men are not willing to court women, not willing to spend time with women, not willing just to treat you exactly with the attitude that you're giving. That's what they're giving back in return. Like you're trying to be treated like a queen or a princess, but yet you're giving peasant vibe. No, no, no. Peasants are usually humble. I take that back. Forgive me for anyone who is that. No, you're giving a witch vibes. It's more witchy. But yeah, but you cause all of this. You understand? And so this is the catastrophe that we are in right now in the dating world. This is why men are changing their mind about women. About hell, even just dating the opposite sex altogether. This is why many of our, our men of color are going to different races. And I don't blame them. Like, shit, if that's what you're going to get with, with someone of your own race or your same skin color, well then you might as well venture out and find someone who has a better attitude, more refined, who is quite deserving of a, a restaurant with, you know, reservations and fine dining. Yes. Someone who actually qualifies. And I just did a video, I think it was actually my last video about being a phenomenal woman. What that also entails is having a, a good attitude. Being kind, being nice, being generous, being appreciative, not only to yourself, but to others. And those others is the guy that who's trying to take you on a freaking date here and have a good time and get to know you. But now you've completely ruined that, not only for yourself, but for that young man who is actually really good looking. <laughs> you treated him. <sighs> I really feel bad for that guy, for that gentleman. Because now what is he to think? When he when he went home that night and was lying in bed, what in the hell was he thinking? Like, damn, I may never go all out like that for anybody else. Just things like that ruin it for real, real decent, civilized, level-headed human beings. That one moment could ruin it for the next person. Now the next person may just get a burger and a movie because of things like that, okay? He may never want to invest, but hopefully he's wise enough and mature enough to say, eh, <laughs> I dodged many, many bullets, you know? She wasn't the right one, she's a bit ratchet, out of my league, I'm glad that did happen because had I, had I invested in a $300 dinner bill and then, you know, days later I find out that she was like that, that would have really made me sick. So my guy, you saved a lot. You saved yourself, you saved your sanity, 
And furthermore, you get to keep that money in your pockets and, and spend it wisely on someone who is more deserving of. You know, it was just, it's quite depressing. And then women always want to say, well, men need cheap. What? Now you see why. I just did a video the other day why men deal with lower maintenance women. This is exactly why. Someone who just want, they just want to be with somebody who's just going to drink with them, have sex, they can kick it with, don't need a drama. This is why. Because of things like that. That's exactly why. They're ruining it for real, for real decent, civilized, mature women. Behavior like that. That's exactly why. And it pisses me off. Cause it makes my job harder you understand so yeah i just wanted to share that video of what's really going on out there versus everyone just sitting around making assumptions that oh well men are like this and, duh, 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 and women are like no this is exactly what's going on shit like that yeah i'm cussing because i'm pissed yeah all right guys let me know if you need further coaching all of my information will be linked down below i thank you for joining me always until next time